What, what is this? That's, what? Like this. My neighborhood. Yeah. That's what you do it. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Police. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Orale, homes. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No. 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 Oh, mm. oh, you rest. <laughs> yeah. Are you members of Hazard? No. Oh, camera, don't flash. Oh, <laughs> son de la Hazard or no? Turn around, turn around. Huh? Seguro. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you guys investigating? Oh, no, we're not investigating. We're just doing a, a series on, on the Hazard. Remember uh, Lies in Hazard with Olmos? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just a follow up, just seeing the, the community, the guys, how they hang out and mm. so on. Yeah. It's no big thing. A ver sus tats. You got any? Uh, you got some. <laughs> Macho Grasso stands out like a fart in church, Holmes. Where? What? <laughs> What's a tag? A ta ta tattoo. Oh, tattoo. Okay. Tat it down. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, that's why you guys were filming. You know, oh, smoke? yeah. Just, no, just I'm trying to around, stop smoking. The community. That's for stop smoking. Yeah. Right? I'm trying to stop smoking. You got to stop smoking, Holmes. You smoke? smoke? You don't smoke? No, okay, Yeah. Like that. Are you guys members of Hazard? Good to see Huh? Hey, well, look at the guy. Oh, like, yeah. Wow. Huh? Yeah, I'm from Yeah. There's a guy guys that way with someone. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? He's investigating, huh? No, he's just checking. No, out. no we're not investigating. See, they, they do filming here, and they show it in the East Coast. So they won't be showing it here? Well, you'll see it here, but yeah. more than likely, it's not for the community here. It's, mm -hmm. it's for the East Coast. Like, you got vatos from uh, other clicasos over there in uh, yeah. other barrios. You see, theirs is different. And they're just showing them what, what we have here. Mm. It's a positive thing. What's, what's it? What's it like being? What's it like being in Hazard? Huh? What's it like being in Hazard? Uh, huh? Crazy. You don't know? <laughs> Life is crazy. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah. They're afraid to talk because uh, they might say the wrong thing. And then they'll get in trouble. Oh God, yes. And then they'll be put on trial. Oh, <laughs> big time. Mm. So they gotta watch, but they're usually the very gregacious. They 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 joke a lot. Uh, when you if you try to get a meeting set with these guys, and then, of course there'll be beer and there'll be some food, and they'll sit, they'll talk to you. But they're very guarded in what they say. Uh, they don't, you don't want to ask questions like hey, who shot this guy or no, that's something that that's total taboo, and they're not gonna tell you. And if some guy talks, you better give his heart to God because he knows it belongs to the to the hazard. They'll do them in. So these guys, they, they're just like they're our children. They love to be in the limelight. And they throw their signs. And of course, in, 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 in numbers, they have power. But uh, as you see them, they come for this. This is one of the major watch dogs. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. He's driving away from me. Uh oh, oh. get him, give him a point. That's a national dog of the gangbangers. What kind of a dog is that? Chihuahua. Chihuahua. See, see his pants. That that is a manner of a, a, like a summer dress, because uh, that's derived from the prisons. What happens in the prisons? You get assigned a certain type of clothing, and of course, particular areas in the uh, in the in the state, it's so hot you don't get shorts. So what you do? You cut your pants off. Those are your shorts. But because we're very macho, among the so-called Chicano, you don't show pierna or leg. So that's why they have the long two socks. And it just become a form of style. They have, they have no idea why they do it because everybody does it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move on. Timothy Ortiz. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, 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 a, he's, not, he's about uh, five cans short of a six pack. And so he's, he's been in the gang for, it has a way of life. I mean, he doesn't uh, gang bang per se where you go out and do drive by shootings and so forth. He, he's a member. Um, there's one of the things that uh, you have to be very careful being in hazard is the, the access uh, points. For instance, uh, Merchantson and Lancaster, that store, and that's one an area where uh, there are there have been several shootings where guys have actually been hit. Either they're working in the store, they're going to the store after purchasing something, a beer, and of course, you take a, if you're a opposing gang and you take advantage of it, you know, in a particular time of the day, guys will hang out. And they all hang out in here, and boom, they'll dump you. The movie American Me. Mm -hmm. There's a segment where uh, the uh, the kid got shot. Remember that? Well, it took place here. This is the area. Wait, 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 wait. Hang, hang on, hang on. 
Oh, th that was in the movie. Yes, uh, that. But this is part of the. They utilized a lot of hazard. The part where the three kids were, took that shortcut and they went over the hill. Where Primera lives. Mm -hmm. Well, this is where. It, and if you actually, when they talk about Primera, Primera and Hazard are so far apart, it's unbelievable. Did those shootings actually happen? Or was it just in the movie? Oh, it's just in the movie. Yeah. Uh, did you want to come down and look at anything, or what did you want to do from there? No, it, you said you were, we were going to... Oh, wait, wait, we were going to go up and take the, the, the high... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we got yeah. to turn, we gotta turn yeah. around, I'm sorry. When they looked down, the kid was coming up that that fence. It's, yeah, he says, "Era la hazard is la primera lives," and they tried to correlate primera with hazard, and primera was way down in the projects. We were talking about three blah uh, three. This is in size, not the biggest. No, the biggest development in the in the, in the city is Nickerson Gardens, thousand and five units. This is about uh, four and a half, five hundred maybe units. When you consider about uh, households, about four per, per unit, we've got a good sized little community. The, um, but this is the oldest I've read. Uh, this was built in 1940, 41, 1940. It's the oldest in the city. In the city. Because the county has three developments, Maravilla. When the, when, when the two of you were driving around before, you said that there was a stretch where he was talking about... It, was, it seemed to be, that as we were coming straight in here, and you were talking about... Well, there was a lot of graffiti. They've cleaned it out since yesterday. No, with the just was from Estrada, of course. They came to a party here. That's right. That's V&E. Yeah, V&E. That's, uh, that's another very old gang in it. That's yeah. very powerful within the Mexican mafia. It's like, basically, it could be V&E and Hazard. Well, if, if, if the mafiosos, or if the two MM members had not intervened, they would have caused a major war. And I mean, constant back and forth, back and forth. And as you can see, there's an access, access to the freeway here, very easy. There's always an access to the freeway. And, and it was very, uh, I was going to do a uh, uh, write-up on her because uh, I do a lot of big segment in my gang. She's one of the original gang members from Hazard. She was Hazard. Oh, yeah. There's no question about it. She was Hazard. And her kids, they were all Hazard. That's what you said about her son with the, with the, um... Yeah. I know, I know. Everything's like 500 times as much as you ever end up in. But then later, when you get into a little edit room and you make it all put it all together, mm -hmm. you go, oh, why didn't we take that picture? Yeah. It's like, well, picture you didn't take. Yeah. I'm glad Muski's not here. Yeah. Jesus. He's an ass. He can. I gotta be careful what I say too. I'm very vocal. I'm very vocal and I, I get my tit in the rain all the time. I know, I can tell you can't help yourself. <laughs> but the one thing the guy say, Moji, you're consistent. <laughs> yeah. Right on the on the projects were just for the kids. You see if you look, For the expanse, I mean. Look in that portion up there, that's that's called Garrity Lomas. And that's uh that's a county gang. And there's always been a, an understanding because Gary Lone was a very old gang too, and uh, Hazard's very old. And there's, they don't have too many fights, but the one that used to have a lot of fights was over the fence, Vicky's Town, because Vicky's Town is a new gang and they want to get a name. And <clears throat> when the kids want to get themselves known, they start a lot of shit, and they start uh, crossing out. That's the biggest thing. What they call puto marks, they cross you out. And then one thing leads to another, and of course, hey man, you can't disrespect us. Hey, fuck that man, I'm gonna kick his ass. And I'm gonna get, and one thing leads to another. And then of course, then you have a homicide, and then boom, you're at war. I wanna find out what clique, what, what clique, or what, what segment of the gang, where do they stand? They'll tell you, uh, time bomb, uh, 
Siscon Largo the second, because there's, there's probably a first Largo. And then there's Puppet Four. So there's been four puppets in that game. So that's probably about four generations. And then you have Hepster and so forth and so forth, and you'll go on there. They have a pecking order also. And there's respect. If you uh, This is this is another segment within the you have the palabra or the veteranos, right? And then you have the the gangsters. This is one section of the guy they call those tiny locos or the tiny fucking locos. That means their 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 order is uh, you have different segments like you have a B's varsity, junior varsity, and so forth, like a football team. That's basically the same thing they do here. Hey, come on over, come over on this side. I'm gonna have her go on without you. Well, this this is their their roll call. It's like a, a USMC. And then you get all the guys, and then it says uh, that's this is the basic idea of what we're There's a big hazard in the that's 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 the essence of the Within the Los Angeles Police Department, they may be members. Or they may be the squad team. Or they may be the bicycle team. That's the problem. You should put him back there. He said to keep him up. Oh, I'm sorry. They take him up. These guys, like they say, you know why they fought for the Al Alamo so hard? There's four more walls to ride on. And it's just about right. Every time, you, everywhere you go, they're right. It's, it's one of the things. And they don't see it as vandalism. They don't see it as graffiti. They, they see it as uh, a calling card. Uh, letting people know who I am. And that's why they'd write on walls. Kathy? Yeah. Yeah. We'll wait for you. Like sit on a park bench and just do a, a, a formal part of the interview, just a back and forth. This is being recorded. It doesn't matter. You know how we're going to cover it? How we're going to cover this? What are you doing? The very first day I met you. They told me, you're not supposed to do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, the guy just went over and got mad. Yeah. And I got well, mad. Was then. Yeah. As long as you don't get caught today. Oh. As long as the chief. But then you'll say, I, I, I got to call that that same guy was back. <laughs> so what? Great. That's great, Kathy. And you can see a little. <laughs> that kid, the kid. He's a, what we call El Vato Loco, the crazy dude. Yeah. The other guys are not entrenched as hardcore as he is, just by the fact that. Look at the manner of dress. Buenas, está cansadita, eh? Buen ejercicio. All of this. It goes. It goes from the freeway north to uh, Marengo. Yeah, probably. One of the things that they do here, they try to utilize the kids from the community to actually work, so they make them feel like they're part of the community. It's just, it's, it's just a thing to do. So 
that's how they developed. They were the power. Right? Yeah, without a doubt, they were going to be the powerhouse. That was back in 94. What has hurt them is because of the RICO situation. Right. Exactly. And that's why the 30s to the 40s, they are, are trying to take over. Right now, the M is semi in a disarray. And what they've developed, they don't have the so-called uh, pyramid anymore. Mm -hmm. We all thought it was a pyramid, and it isn't. It works more like a, uh, I like to use the term of the Knights of the Round Table. They're, they're all equal. Everybody has a particular area. And that's why when this homicide occurred, December the 21st, when the hazard killed the guy from Estrada Court, I knew something was going to happen. And if the powers to be had any say so, they would squash it, meaning they would have hazard do somebody within, and it happened. And I but but there, are, there are an estimated 80,000 Latino gang members in the county. There's a, uh, there's a total According of, to what I've seen. There's a total of 1,252 gangs in and the And the re as I understand it, the fear is that they can build this veritable army, stepping up the recruiting efforts, they can build up this veritable army. Yes, but they have no police in, in this. That's the Look at these the graffiti. Uh, it'll, it'll be coming around. Graffiti stuff and you know. Now this is a market where stuff happened too. Yeah, right? there a couple of uh, shootings have occurred here. Kids stand out here and they get shot at. And that's about the only way they can do it. Here's a kid in the bike we were talking about. There's the bikes here. Uh, oh, he's, yeah, he's not riding, though. No. Do I want to get that hazard sign there? Or? Is that the hazard sign we want to get? There's the possibilities of your dope dealers here. You see them with they stand, doing nothing. They have nothing to do. They work either on this side of Cruzado Lane, or they'll come over here to this, in front of this house here, and they'll, they'll sell their wares. They sell uh, their dope, they hang out. So they got their hangouts, it's right here in the front, or they go to the back. It's too hard to raise a family. Very difficult, very difficult. Look at the youngest, look at the clothing, how small he is. He already has the, uh, the look. One of the things about this development, they have a lot of speed bumps. And if they weren't here, you can imagine how many, how much, I mean, uh, accidents we would have, traffic accidents with kids. We're we shooting out. This happened some time ago, several years ago. And you see how they, uh, it has to do with the county sheriff. See, the border of the city and the county is just on the next street over, which is Indiana, divides the city and the county. How was he killed? Uh, how? Hmm? He was shot. By? A deputy sheriff's. Try to drive here in pursuit. <laughs> oh man. How yeah. many cars are gonna lose their traction through here? You can see the Ramona sign right up here. 
right in front Welcome of you. The Mona Gardens. Uh, the, st the steps up ahead playing the role like he, he don't do nothing. Hey, Danny. He went up for 187, by the way. I'll drive by slower on that one. Stop. I'm gonna do it static too. Can one clear? Park we're going to. Does this have any significance? Or? It's Hazard Park. The gang derived the name out of the park itself. Like I mentioned, uh, back in the uh, 30s, mm -hmm. uh, one of our mayors was named Hazard, mm -hmm. and they dedicated the park uh, apparently after he passed away. And mm -hmm. subsequently, the gang members would hang out. And when gang members get to a geographical area, they where they conjugate. Like for instance, white fence. They used to hang around a place called, where there was a big white fence. Mm -hmm. All the homes. I think watch you by the white fence. Mm -hmm. And that's how the gang came to know the mm -hmm. white fence. Mm -hmm. Up in Meta Flats, the guys lived in the projects. That's where it actually started. And of course, First Street was the main, one of the main streets in the city. Because mm -hmm. actually, the First Street divides north and south addresses in the city. So mm -hmm. that's how they derived. Mm -hmm. And of course, they started a clique or a clique or a smaller segment of the gang with Cuatro in mm -hmm. their flats. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is, one, uh, flats are flats all the way around. You have uh, Tortilla Flats in Compton, Primera and Cuatro Flats. Mm. You have Alinda Flats within the city of Alinda. Mm. See, they, they're all, they all back each other up. Mm -hmm. It's kind of unusual for them to take the name Hazard. No, because this is the park. Uh, mm. You would think Ramona, uh, Ramon is a feminine name and it just mm. it ha has no real manliness to the, to the name Ramon. Ramon, what are you going to be, Ramon Locos? Mm, <laughs> it just mm. doesn't seem to jive, mm. which I think is a kind of a, uh, would have been a pretty nice name because my name is Ramon in Spanish, so what the mm, hell? Mm, so mm. it's not so bad. Mm. But the other gangs have Spanish names, don't they? The majority, yes. Mm. It, not, it, it has nothing to do, it has to do with a, a usually a geographical mm -hmm. location or, or an area or, or for some particular uh, name of someone or something that's that has something to do with them mm. like uh, Cypress Park mm. the guys hang out at Cypress Park so they Cypress uh, Cy Cypress Park locos a mm -hmm. bunch of guys hang out there why do they call themselves locos crazy mm. uh, they do a, you want to go into the park itself um, yeah where are we gonna do that we can't oh. have all these people around us though. oh well we can go back in there yeah yeah okay okay, okay. this is one of the this is the 